Hey guys, Tommy here with TFL Classics, and today is an interesting one because behind me is my 1991 Saab 900 Turbo Convertible, and I'm actually selling it. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you why I'm selling it and how one of you could head home with a really cool piece of Swedish history. We bought this Saab earlier this year from a lady whose mom bought it brand new back in Minnesota. And this family has had this car its entire life until we purchased it, like I said earlier this summer. And we've done a huge amount of work to it to get it back into roadworthy condition. Now the coolest part of the Saab is actually the top. It's a convertible. And let me show you that operation. The convertible top is probably one of the coolest aspects of the vehicle because, yes, it's a Saab, it's very unusual, but putting the top down just adds a little bit of extra flair to the driving experience. Now, the top was a quite the interesting story. When we bought the car, the rear window kept falling out of it, and to replace the rear window and the rear portion of the top was $1,100, which was uh, pretty much well, almost 50% what we paid for the car to begin with. So we replaced the whole rear section of the top and it's in great condition now. There's a couple little nicks here and there, but you can see it goes down like a dream. All right. Now under the hood of the Saab, you'll find an inline four cylinder engine with a turbocharger, of course, and this one is in really good shape. The car itself is under 120,000 miles, which doesn't sound like a very low mileage example, but if you go online and start looking at 900 turbos, they typically have well over 200 or even 250,000 plus miles because people just bought them and then held onto them forever. Now this one has been really well maintained. It runs like an absolute top. We did have to fix the boost gauge, but the turbo spools up nicely. It's got a new alternator. It's got a new battery. Um, it had a ton of leaks <laughs> involved with it. We had all those fixed and it was super expensive to get them fixed. So like the rear uh, uh, crank seal was leaking, got that replaced. The fans weren't working when we bought it, got those all sorted. So now it runs nice and cool and it runs really well. You can see like it's uh, in very original condition and there really isn't all that much much rust on the car. There's a little bit of surface rust down here, uh, kind of by the engine mounts, and then on the rear fender, but that's it. You know, you can tell that someone really loved this car and didn't drive it through salty roads. One of the cool things about these old Saabs is just how well thought out everything is, including the fuse panel, which is labeled left and right for absolutely everything. So you just pull out this little panel, replace the fuse, and you're off uh, to the races. No having to search through owner's manuals. These old Saabs are really cool cars to drive. They're not nearly as quick as a modern sports car. They probably don't handle as well, but for a classic car, they're just so solid on the road and they, they just inspire confidence. You know, Saab was a company devoted to their engineering and their build quality and 30 years later, you can definitely tell that. Now, in terms of performance, it's, it's not gonna win that many drag races, but when you plant it, RPMs build, there goes the turbo, it actually takes off pretty well and I love watching that turbo gauge rise. The interior of the Saab 900 has lasted remarkably well over the years. You know, there's no massive tears in the seats, which is pretty common with these old Saabs. There are unfortunately some cracks in the dash, but it's in, you know, fairly good condition overall. Now, this is one thing you'll notice, which is uh, probably the biggest attractor of the value of this car. It's an automatic three-speed transaxle. It works really well. It shifts super smoothly. It would be nice to have a manual transmission. But you know, at the end of the day, this car is just a cruiser. And for being a cruiser, the automatic works really well. There are two things that don't work in the Saab. First of all, the air conditioning is kaput. I don't know quite what's wrong with it. I think the compressor's okay, and quite honestly, if I got hot, I would just put the top down here in Colorado, but it is something you can address if you want. Heater works great. And then the radio. I tried to play a tape in it, and now the tape player doesn't work, nor does the AM FM. You can see I can turn it on. Oh boy, it needs a code here. Ah. 
Anyway, the radio is not having a good day here. Uh, it doesn't work on AM or FM, but apart from that, heater's good. You know, hazards work. Um, power steering is good. <laughs> Horn works. And even the equalizer comes on as well. So that's pretty cool stuff. I just wish that the original head unit would work, but you can swap that out if you want. Now the best part about this car is actually, well, it's life that it's had. I don't believe it's ever been in an accident and it has one of the most comprehensive set of uh, service histories I've ever seen. It's just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of documents dating all the way back to the purchase of this car brand new. So I think it's in really good shape. I mean, it's uh, you could certainly use a little bit of polishing around the edges, but you can see, I mean, look how straight it is around the back. Original exhaust, it passed emissions for me here in Colorado. It's a good car, I just think um, it needs a real enthusiast to fix a radio, AC, and then just clean it up a little bit here and there. Now another thing we fixed was the steering rack, which had this crazy wobble in it. It was quite scary to drive this car. That's all been sorted, and the tires were well past their sell-by date, so it's got brand new tires on it as well. I'm gonna miss this car, but uh, it, it's time to move on because I need the money for another project. Let me show you. I need the money to fund this project, my 1993 Mini Cooper, which has been monstrously expensive. On top of the $4,000 it took to get running, I just had to drop another $1,500 into it for suspension, wheel bearing, and uh, this temperature sensor. And then it's getting another $1,200 put into it next week for interior work. And that's before I do wheels, that's before I do the cool racing lights up front and the registration. It's just a hugely expensive money pit, but I love this car. I really Really, truly value it so that's where I want to invest my resources so that means the Saab has got to go well there you have it my Saab 900 turbo convertible that's up for sale I'm asking four thousand nine hundred dollars for it and be sure to send me an email info at TFL car if you're interested in buying this this really cool Saab, um, you know, it's way less than we have into it, but it's our best offer, so let me know what you think in the comments below. Shoot me an email if you're interested, because it's a really cool piece of history that you just don't see a lot on the road anymore, and at 119,000 miles, it's like just getting broken in, in Saab terms. Well, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Check out TFL Classics. We've got a lot more videos coming up. Just let me know with the Saab. It's time to move it on to a new owner who loves these things.